This video is some helpful tips about drawing, designing your own motorcycles, as well as information about motorcycles themselves. I hope people feel free not to be afraid to draw things like vehicles rather than just always drawing comfortable subjects. Study different reference images. Try to get things from different angles so you can imagine things in three-dimensional space. One of the best tips I can give for drawing motorcycles is to buy toys and figurines of realistic motorcycles. Then you can rotate them and actually see them in three dimensions. I have an old Mighty Ducks custom bike that I bought many years ago that I use as the basis for most of my motorcycle designs and it has helped me immensely in being better at drawing motorcycles in general and in getting the three dimensionality of the form. These first few examples are slightly simplified side views of a few of the main types of bikes. The first one I'm showing here is the cruiser bike, which is a street legal, more comfortable riding bike that's not necessarily meant for very long distance. In Procreate, I painted the background on a separate layer underneath, then I painted the line art over top of a sketch layer. Each of these things were on separate layers, which is more effective. You should use the layer functionality when you're doing digital art, it's very helpful. But don't be afraid to use fewer layers if it's more useful to you. The other thing is that I can use something called Alpha Lock in Procreate to lock something I've already drawn down and just color over those areas. I use this to duplicate the line layer and quickly change the line art to color, as well as to fill in solid colors for all the background in the color areas of a subject, including the motorcycle here. Then I Alpha Lock the layer and fill in all the shading without worrying about going over the edges. In other digital art software, you can use things like layer masks for the same sort of idea on a layer above the layer you're basing it on. Choppers are another street legal motorcycle. They're often very beautiful, but actually less comfortable to ride on and a little more difficult to ride on for people who are particularly short. Wide, high handlebars and a low seat makes them actually a little harder to ride, but they do sure look cool. Legally speaking, there are actually three subcategories of motorcycle, street, off-road, and dual purpose. Street bikes include cruisers, sport bikes, scooters, mopeds, as well as a few more, and are intended to be legally rode as transportation. Off-road bikes include dirt bikes, motocross, and other racing bikes that are often not street legal in most areas. A dual purpose cycle includes bikes still legal for on the road, but also able to go off-road. Motorcycles are also often called motorbikes, cycles, or simply bike. They are two or also three-wheeled motor vehicles. The design and specifics can vary greatly for the different purposes they are designed for, such as this touring bike, which is designed more for long distance travel and includes areas to put gear and a more comfortable seating arrangement for someone intending to ride it much more long distance. With few exceptions, motorcycles are produced to be very cost-effective as well as engineered to make a perfect balance of three main issues, performance, cost, and aesthetics. As well, most are on a standardized steel or aluminum frame. Telescopic forks hold the front wheel with disc brakes, most often a gasoline-powered engine that consists of one to four cylinders, in rare cases up to eight. They are coupled to a manual five or six-speed sequential transmission which drives a swing arm mounted rear wheel, which is powered by a chain, drive shaft, or belt. Based on the bike and the individual rider, the poses will vary. For sport bikes, the rider tends to lean forward into the wind. The weight of the upper torso is supported by the rider's core at low speed and by the air pressure at high speeds, above 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. The foot pegs are below the rider or in the rear. The design of the bike is built for speed and to cut wind interference. This is difficult and tiring to riders, especially long term, and is particularly hard on the wrists at lower speeds. For standard bikes, the rider sits upright or leans forward slightly. The feet are below the rider. They're non-specialized and are often considered better for beginners who are learning to ride. For cruiser type bikes, the rider sits at a lower seat height with the upper torso upright or leaning slightly rearward. Legs are extended forward. The regular controls are on cruiser pegs. This is often more difficult for newer and shorter riders. Handlebars are often very high and wide. In order to turn, most often a rider needs to lean or physically move their body for it, as well as an individual bike or rider may sit differently to the average, particularly if the rider is very tall or very short. For this artwork, I'm working almost exactly directly from a reference photo I took myself recently during a Canada Day celebrations. 
I took some good photographs, using my iPad itself, of this motorcycle parked near my house. I then used that as a direct reference in order to paint this motorcycle. I could have stolen the colors to create a color palette and procreate from the photo, but instead I just guessed at what the colors were and made a palette from there. When I was painting it, I was making sure to do the reflected light correctly. I actually added some subtle red color onto surfaces nearby the red areas because of the reflected light. I also used different texture brushes I'd gotten for free for Procreate to work on the background quickly. For the plants in the background, I actually used a charcoal brush that came with Procreate, but I used several grain textures I'd picked up free brushes for for the background. This is an example of a fantasy motorcycle I designed all the way back in 2012. This was one of my best artworks of that year. I'm using the old line art I imported back onto my iPad to repaint this digitally once more. The original painting had two moons in the background. The motorcycle is called Veltora. It's a magical, flying, flaming motorcycle. Zestra Sorowind is the cat person or Felinus rider. She's from a story of mine from a while ago. She's actually someone who fights in a gladiator arena. But no one actually dies in these magic gladiator arenas on that world. Still, she's completely awesome and so is the bike, both of which deserve a female moniker. The bike itself has its own personality and can talk. It's considered a magical artifact and is powered by a magical power source rather than gasoline. Veltora was the first custom motorcycle design I did for a fantasy drawing that I was truly proud of, and I've since done more. I tend to do more chopper type motorcycle designs because I tend to think they look the most beautiful of all, and because the three-dimensional model I have of a motorcycle is this type at its base, so it's easier for me to see it in three dimensions. I think I should get models that are fairly accurate of some of the other motorcycle types so it's easier for me to do my own custom three-dimensional motorcycle designs based on the main bike types. Well, there you have it. I hope you learned something or at least enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask for anything you'd like in the comments, though I don't guarantee I'll give you what you ask for. I may use it as a suggestion for future video. Sadly, I did not complete the new opening animation in time for this video, but I'm still working on it. I hope to see you again soon for the next video. Bye!